Hi guys, today we're at Bora Bor. We're going to be having a look at the not quite top secret Ogum 54. I just want to say if you haven't seen episode one of our Beyond Horizon series I'll leave a link at the end of the video uh, episode two is coming next week don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our new patreon channel if you want to keep up with what's going on <laughs> real time see you soon guys thank you for watching oh and don't forget if you like this boat We've left loads of information out because we are going back to the shipyard in October. We are working with them in September at the La Rochelle Boat Show. So if you're in France and going to be there, come and say hello. Um, we'll leave a link in the description down below. Please comment. Uh, hit that like button. And if you don't like it, make sure you hit the don't like button twice just to be sure. This is a fully custom boat. Something they worked on on the design. Um, so a lot of things can be changed if you want. The two sections that you'll see here are for your backstays and then something that's quite important in getting in you actually have uh, an art so you know set up for solar panels and your dinghy. I've had a quick look around this boat, um, got some of the technical data, we're going to do an interview with them in a minute to get most of it some images will be coming up but um, looking on the starboard side this is actually where your main uh, wheels will be and your cockpit seat something I'll leave a link up in this corner for the um, 45 that we looked at at the San Malo boat show earlier this year go and have a look at that but something that's really impressive with this boat is the integrated hard top and sections so just over the top um, all your lines this one's actually going to be set up with an infurling mast um, so basically all your um, sheets and so on and halyards all come back to here and they come down to a system and I know people say about right angles but it's no different to what it would be in a catamaran and then you have um, here and then over on that side spaces for your winches and there's another two winches that are set up just over here and what I'm going to do is come forward we'll come through here one of the strong points I really like is the passageway the walkthrough um, from after forward you have a really high um, boardwalk it's good very very safe for your kids and your dogs and the handrail is fully integrated in aluminium once again it's another bonus when this is in the water you'll see you've got some little spaces here and this will actually give you um, access to lines as well both port and starboard there'll be access or dockside access something I find really important so aft quickly flip you there so aft you have a set of cleats here and there is down on the sugar scoop and then coming forward here one midships coming forward these windows are amazing you'll see when we get on the inside Inboard, outboard shrouds. 
you have another cleat slightly further forward and then coming all the way forward to the bow you then have a double set of cleats forward here it's just you know they've been listening listening to customers and to customers wants so fully integrated a double barrel roller a massive massive locker you have a crumple zone forward i'm not going to get all the way down there you can have that as a watertight bolt head if you wish then all the way down the bottom you can see the welded tunnel for the bow sprit so this will be sail locker and all that sort of stuff so ladder to get down and then this is a watertight bulkhead so fully integrated this hatch just below me is actually for the owners um, shower have a look at that in a minute now all the hatches on this boat uh, are flush deck hatches all except for one in the middle and this is actually for your windlass and there is a windlass tunnel for your chain so it will come all the way forward and then we'll have a look at the moment and this drops it down so you've got all that weight um chain weight by the mast so anything between depending on how much chain you have between three and five hundred kilos which is a lot of weight to get centrally into the boats really really good idea self-tacking jib this boat is going to come with depending on the options so you have a full Genoa, um, you'll have a jib um, somewhere for a, you know, stay sail, storm jib, whatever. So Genoa tracks will run port and starboard. And then you have your self-tacker here. And I know there's always a, a, a discussion about self-tackers. You know, if you're beating up to winds, they can actually be a godsend. And this is your hard top. So mast here. The section that you can see in timber, that is all windows, which will open one way and another way to be able to get through draft. You imagine your solar power. It's like a catamaran hardtop. And you have to remember this boat is only 54 foot. Come down this side and we'll get you inside quickly. So before I go too far, You'll see the welding here. It's the reinforcement sections for that Genoa track. So easy to get around this boat. So cockpit space. Big sunbed area here. Coming aft, both full and starboard, you have huge storage lockers here. Your main helming station is aft for both. There is a lazarette, it's filled with insulation at the moment. There's an access lazarette here. We can either go down into a cabin, if that's what you want, or go into a workshop. No, my choice. I'd love to have a workshop there. It'd be absolutely awesome. And then, just to give you an idea of the space, um, I'm 5'9". It's huge. And the actual um, hardtop here will be insulated. Can you imagine with the aluminium? It would get very, very hot in the sun. So they actually insulate uh this area to to help with that and just above you'll see so you have a, a sun track if you want to you know let some sun in here it's the whole thing the whole thing is about protection giving you a big protected area giving you an area this really is a cross between Having a sunshine boat and having an exploration boat in one is bridging the gap. It's bridging the gap on designs we've been working on for the last couple of years. Right, coming into your saloon. You will have, and you'll see in the images, so there is a raised helm station here, pilot station if you wish. 
raised saloon area round through here a drop down galley on the port side and if you want you can have access underneath for the lazarette where these guys are working they actually have ash um, for the cabin floors this is actually going to be like a skipper's cabin underneath here centrally you can see the diesel tanks and there are twin diesels tanks we'll go into that some other time and then on the starboard side there are steps that will go down here and into a cabin there are two levels of insulation on this boat we have the first we've seen this before so it's a spray on core this prevents all the condensation and starts the thermal barrier and then they actually use a styrofoam um, in between if my memory is correct it's uh, 60 mil styrofoam so it's rigid has great thermal barriers over on this side you'll see there are a couple of port lights and then after this cabin a massive, massive uh, seascape window, which is absolutely awesome. And they've looked for this drop down galley in the future because you have two port lights here and an opening window there um, that they will actually probably put in a seascape window through here too for future boats. One thing I like about Bora Bore is the through holes. So you'll see you have the one sets of through holes there, and just forward there's a water uh, manifold to control all the water, seawater, or fresh water. There's a water tank underneath to give you a pano of the light and we'll put the 3D rendering up. So you have full view all the way through. There's Sarah with one of the designers and then coming forward. So this is part of the cabin area there, just down below behind this guy. We'll see a shape around here and that's actually where one of your keels is twinkling this one mass compression posts and then here you actually have so like a, a pilot saloon you have an internal helm you can see all the way forward and all the way aft both sides so you have full view it is an option um so you can have your wheel here or your instruments um, you know basically helm the boat from the interior or get to your anchorage and so on a couple of steps down the main cabinet tree in this particular boat is in american walnut which is lovely warm wood absolutely fantastic you'll see lower down coming through to the forward suite you have these fabulous seascape windows as well absolutely brilliant all be double glazed um, hardened glass just underneath so this is where i say about water manifolds and so on you start to get more into the technical side of the boat then water tank and so on if you imagine if you have to get access to these services through the floor or you have to go under the floor you can start to see that you actually have an awful lot of space something i love so you have your mask compression post just forward and then this section down here uh, you have your drain out and then this will actually be all your chain storage so you'll see that's that hole we saw coming through from the deck your winch i love the american walnut absolutely love it and then coming through you have a 
Double beds. And some cabinet tree. And then forward for where we saw that hatch over above. If you're interested, just above my head, this is this central part here. That's the tunnel where the chain comes through from the windlass. That will all be insulated, which will help with the noise. And then to my right, so on the starboard side, you have your, um, there'll be a, a head and then you'll sink. And this is a full, fully integrated corian worktop. So it's a one piece molded corian worktop. It's not had, it's not going to have fiddles stuck on it. It'll be fully cut one piece and then storage underneath. What I quite like, the catches for these doors are actually on the inside. So, I don't know if you can see that. Self-closing, nice and solid, it's really good, really, really good. And then port side, you have a fully integrated um, separate shower. I can't tell you what the owner's chosen for this, whether they're going to have a rainhead shower or whatever. I can't get in there at the moment. What I can tell you is it is a very big space. I'll give you an idea of cabin height in here. You can probably see above my head. There is just, there's loads of space. So if you're tall, no problem whatsoever. Um, spin you around a bit, come around. As you can, you can hear and see that the boat is still being done. Give you a view forwards. The aim with this particular one is in mass furling. So all your controls are back here, or and if you opt for the pilot station forward or helm station forward too inside, you'll have controls from that. So it's an under pressure uh, in furling system, so that you're not having to head up to wind. You can keep some pressure on the sail, furl it away, or you know put a reef in it's a clever system all with separate winches instead of actually having a winch within the mast weakening the mast now it's a quick tour um if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below we will be back uh hopefully we'll see this boat in the water hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one